Okay, this is CAD 214 MEP on Monday, November 9th. Um, just to go over what we have to do for this class and pretty much the remaining of the semester, we'll go over that first before we jump into the Revit exercise. We don't have a lot to go over today. Um, we're basically just gonna catch up where we left off in the last class where it comes to connecting our second floor uh, utilities to our sewer water and um, hot water system, cold water, hot water, and sewage. Uh, we're gonna go over that. Uh, so not a lot that we need to, to finish up. It's kind of a review of what we did last time and just kind of um, how we connect those pipes. Uh, we'll also open the class up to different questions, any questions that you have, any difficulties and things like that, we can address those this evening. Um, this is going to be your last project for plumbing. Um, pretty much should have everything done except connecting those last few uh, lines. So we'll get that done. That's going to be due Wednesday by five before the next class. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we're going to start our final project. Uh, for Wednesday in class, we're just going to meet and discuss the final project. Uh, you're not going to have anything new to go over. Uh, basically, for your final project, uh, you'll be given another building, uh, one similar to the one that you have now, and you'll need to create your own HVAC lighting and uh, plumbing systems um, for that building. Uh, it'll be very, um, very working on your own. We'll be meeting uh, probably once a week, depending on how everybody's feeling. Uh, we may meet twice a week. We'll see how things are progressing. Um, and that way I can check in on your work and things like that. You'll still have to turn in your work just as a progress checks. You know, and of course you can always get in touch with me if you're having any issues, but it's pretty much a kind of work on your own project from here. Uh, the final project will count for two grades. It'll count for your final project and your final exam. Um, but we'll go into that in a little bit more in detail on Wednesday. Uh, for today, we'll go ahead and pick up where we left off uh, last class. And that's just with working on our plumbing for our second floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video off and jump into Revit. Okay, so where we left off last time is just kind of playing with these, these plumbing lines. Let's take another look at what I have going on here. Uh, we should have been able to finish our first floor plumbing. And what I was hoping to do between this class and the last class was trying to find an easier way for us to connect our second floor plumbing to our first floor plumbing, but it's, Basically, it just kind of takes a little finagling in order to do that. But what we really kind of want to look at is how we get these floors to connect. Um, I have my cold water pipes here running through my walls and down, and they're connecting to, oh, well, this is hot water, hot water pipe and connecting to the hot water pipe on the first floor and the same. I haven't connected my cold water pipe to that first floor yet, so we'll go ahead and do that. And the same goes for um, our sewage pipe. This one looks a little weird. Oh no, it's just the angle. So one of the things we need to think about when we're laying out these pipes, and I'm sure as you've realized as, as we've progressed through that, is not only um, the thickness of the pipe, but also the level that these pipes are on, and that's gonna determine where these guys connect. And uh, it just kind of takes a little fudging and stuff uh, as you figure it out. But we'll go ahead and go through a couple more examples here, how to connect those, and um, just do a couple of those, and that'll probably be it until we can turn over the class to, uh, for open questions and stuff. So let's just kind of pick up um, here. I've laid out a couple of uh, lines already. I've got my hot water connected. It's coming from here. It goes through this wall, this wall, and it's gonna go drop down through this wall. Remember, if uh, you recall, when I laid out one of these other rooms, I did not pay attention to the height of these lines, and this one is obviously, these two are obviously wrong. 
uh, they're going through my window. So when you're laying out the height of these pipes, when you select that, such as this one here, this one set to an elevation of one foot 11, uh, should actually um, not be offset up, it should be offset down. I would have to delete that in order to redo that. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can do the rest of these without having that same issue, but we'll just leave that there as an example of what not to do. All right, <clears throat> so let me jump into second floor. So go to my project browser, uh, plumbing, plumbing floor two. And this looks a little busy. What I've found that works a little bit better to me is when I use my view range, having to turn these on and off at different times kind of helps me kind of keep things a little bit straight. Obviously now my view depth is unlimited so I can look all the way down on here, but sometimes just to kind of get things laid out, it helps me to set my view depth just to level two. So I can see just what I'm working with on level two. <clears throat> so in level two, just to kind of get this laid out, I have um, one vanity sink, I have the uh, toilet and I have two urinals that are laid out here. And I do have, my hot water line that's run down. I ran it from this uh, sink all the way through the walls. And then as you can see with this symbol right here, this is a downturn elbow pipe and it's facing down. Um, so that way I know that's connected to my water on my first floor. If I go to 3D again and kind of flip back to that view, that downturned elbow water pipe is that piece right there and it connects into this piece right here. So we're going to do the same thing with the cold water pipes. Now remember when you're choosing these pipe sizes, um, I'm not too worried about which sizes you select um, while you're creating it. The important thing to know is how that they connect and how we get them to um, get to the level that we want. These sizes will be determined by your plumbing engineer and uh, you would have to follow those instructions uh, as he's, um, he or she has laid out. All right, jump back to level two. So here I am back on level two and I've got my cold water pipe running here. So my toilet is not connected to this line. So if I highlight this pipe, this pipe is set to an elevation of six inches. Remember we click on toilet, make it active. Click on this pipe here. Let's change that to six inches and we should be able to connect those together rather seamlessly. Uh, we have an elbow here because obviously the connection is a little higher and the pipe is lower, so it's gonna go down like that. Let's go to 3D, take a closer look at that. Oops, need to delete that. So here's the connection into the commode at one foot six and a half, and we wanna connect it down to our other water pipe at six inches, so we can see that turn down there. So now's the tricky part. How do I connect this to my first floor? Well, I've got a closed system here. I didn't think that through very well when I created it. So I need to break one of these lines and have these come down and turn into this just like I wanted to do here. So I found the hardest part is just kind of seeing where these kind of meet up. And it's just a matter of flipping back and forth between the two and knowing that they're going through the walls. So I'm gonna try and do it right here next to this one and try and run that right into this pipe down here. So let's play. All right, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this elbow joint. I'm gonna turn my view range back to unlimited. It's gonna get a little busy. So here's my pipe right here that I want it to come into. And these are my two pipes right here. So for this one, I'm just gonna highlight it, turn my directional arrows on and kind of bump it over. 
a little bit so it kind of comes in line with this pipe a little bit more. I'm going to drag this down to this area. Select this pipe. I'm going to offset this. Let's try negative eight feet for now. Let's see if that works. I'll have to pop back to 3D to see if that works there. I'll take this pipe. Got a lot of stuff going on at that junction, don't I? Let me go to 3D. the one I moved. Come back to systems, back to pipe. I'm going to offset this, pick up from here. go. So I went a little further out and I need to go down a little more. So this is the pipe I just dropped. When I change the elevation of that, it dropped to this height. So I still need to go down a little bit more and back up that pipe a little bit more. Oops, I keep doing that. And now those two should be connected right there. So you can see how that, when I brought those two on the same level, connected at that T joint. Now, is this the most efficient uh, piping system? Probably not. Um, honestly, I think that's the hard part of when we're laying out these for the first time is just trying to see how all these kind of pipes fit together and things like that. And mostly it just kind of takes uh, a lot of practice. Sometimes I think that the best way that we can do lay these out is just to do a sketch and then to come back and kind of lay the pipes after that. Um, much like we do a sketch when we're creating, um, you know, something in architecture and have this laid out here. But if I can get this to connect, that's that's what you want to get to a point where these connect here. Uh, not super efficient the way this looks here, because if I highlight this, the diameter of this is one inch. Uh, and if I highlight this, the diameter of this is a half inch. So I'm not necessarily looking for you to get everything correct, but I just want to see that you can get the pipes to connect like this and kind of run um, as well as possible. And if I come up here, I still have some issues here. I still have this pipe kind of hanging out here and uh, this one over here. So I need to connect this pipe to this water pipe here. I'm going to jump back to floor plan plumbing level two and kind of finagle that now with this. So I've got this pipe here. Actually, I'm going to turn off my view range so I can just kind of play with this on the second floor. Right there. Can I get that to work? Nope. So. Let's 
six inches. Well, that doesn't look right. That's probably not the most efficient way to do that. For someone who is not a plumber, we will go ahead and let that work for this class. The main thing here is that those pipes are connected and that they run around this way. So you can see it's just a matter of getting those top um, pipes to align with the bottom pipes and then using your elevation height to create that downward turning pipe on here. Let's do another example of that over on this section over here. Remember we did this kind of mock-up bathroom on this side. Let me go to plumbing layer two. This is around the area where that bottom bathroom is. So if I wanted to run a couple of lines here, let me do virtual, uh, virtual reality view range. Unlimited, so I can get an idea where things are laid out here. I'm just going to drop a couple of things over here. Remember to do that. We want to go to Systems tab, Plumbing Fixtures. At this time, um, I'm going to drop one laboratory. I'll drop it in between here so it's a little bit easier to see. Oops, cancel. I'm going to drop one urinal, drop that there, and I'll drop one toilet. E range, we'll set back to level two. So now we're just fiddling with this guy up here. Let me go ahead and throw in another wall over here. So we have a wall associated with this. All right, so now I can see my plumbing underneath. I can see where my other pipes are running. So the only thing I have to do to connect my uh, only hot water, I have to do is connect this hot water from this sink to this hot water pipe here. Click on this, my hot water pipe. Make sure that's set to domestic hot water. And then I just brought it central over this pipe right here and it automatically connected down. Let's go to 3D so you can get a look at that. It's an automatic connection in the wall for that one, which is nice. Back to plumbing two. Let's hope. Cold water will be nice with us and work the same way. Voila, yes it did. Back to 3D, take a look at that. We have our hot water and our cold water connected to the pipes on the first floor. This is my urinal on second floor. 
Let's go ahead and connect that order as well. It's being our friend today, that's always nice. This is my toilet on my second floor. Do the same thing here. So many lines almost get you confused sometimes. That one worked as well. Jump to 3D, make sure everything is looking good. And those pipes are connected there as well. So we're looking good so far. Next thing we need to do, uh, last thing we need to do to connect these is drop in our um, sewer pipes. I don't know about y'all, but they always kind of tend to give me a little bit more trouble than my water pipes. So here's my pipe here. Uh, remember, this is coming from the second floor to the first floor. We do have a plenum that will give us that gap to run this, but we do want to make sure that these uh, are running through a wall. Um, you've probably been in many a bathroom where we've seen uh, water pipes running, you know, adjacent to the toilet or things like that. Let's try to eliminate that as much as we can. Let's do this one first. We go here. So I brought that down three inches, so it'll be running through the plenum. And at this point, it's going into the wall. I want to change this to a negative 11 feet to run this way. And then to connect under there at this point. Well, that's not working. So let me see what the elevation is here. Uh, elevation of that one is negative one foot. I'm going to go to 3D just to. Verify that. Did connect. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's my connection there into that pipe. Should be on the same level. Let me go back to, whoops, second floor. Ah, there we go. I have to get it right in the center of that. So that one is connected. Looks a little weird right now because that other pipe is running on top of it, but we did get that connected. Let's go back to 3D, make sure that the connection did work. That did work right there. Uh, back to plumbing layer two, we have toilet connected. Let's go ahead and get the urinal connected. I should be able to come down. Um, into this wall right here and then connect to this pipe on level one. Level two, sewer pipe. I'll bring that down negative three inches. I'll drop that down. Let's go to 3D. So for that urinal right there, well, I need to move this pipe. This pipe is they're intersecting. So one way or the other, I'd have to take this pipe, maybe move it over to the left a little bit or the right a little bit 
and then connect it further down because obviously it isn't working because they're intersecting. We can't have two pipes on top of one another. Or I could move this one over this way and bring that down. So let's redo uh, that pipe that I just did to try and get it out of the way of this one. All right. So let's go back to here. I'll set this down three inches. Let's bring it this way. That worked. Let's bring it to this wall here. And at this point, I want it to go down eight five. And I can bring it to that wall there. I mean, that pipe, sorry. All right, now let's get a 3D and see how that looks. All right, that looks a bit better. It's going down um, into the plenum, down into the wall, and it will be connecting at that pipe right there. So what I want you to be getting the idea of is as you're moving across and dropping these, when you want your elevation to turn, um, the elevation of your pipe to turn down or up, that is when you change your height elevation um, to create that downturn or upturn. Let's do this drain pipe here and then open the floor for any questions that we have. So we need to think about where this one's gonna go. I'm gonna try and thread this in between these two pipes here, down this wall, and connect to this pipe at this point. Once again, we'll go to systems tab. I'll go ahead and select that sewage pipe. We want to offset down three inches. So it comes into this wall here. So at this point in this wall, I want it to go down through that wall. So I'm going to change that to the negative eight, five and a half that we had before. And I should be able to connect that into this sewer line here, which I was. Let's go to 3D, make sure everything laid out looks okay from a 3D point of view. Spin that around. All right, that's not really great because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not really, gr really great. So this is coming down to eight, uh, negative eight. It'll have to come down a little more. I want it to be even with this one because right now it's like stopping in the wall right here and then jutting out here and then going down. So yeah, uh, actually this needs to come down a little bit more. Uh, let's undo that and redo that. Back to plumbing two. Take this pipe again from here. Let's try negative 11 feet. Actually, cancel. I'm going to undo it all. There we go. Sewage. Negative three down. Let's go negative 11 down. Connect there. Hopefully that's low enough for that to work. And back to 3D. Yeah, there we go. So we got the right height connection at that time. So down through the floor into the plenum, into the wall, down the wall, down to 
the uh, sewage pipe underground and those will just be taking all that sewage out from the, the building at that time. So yeah, well, probably one of the most frustrating parts is trying to get everything to line up the way you want it to, but uh, making sure that you have the correct offsets at the same time. One thing that is nice is when you're starting to lay out these pipes, it does have the elevations kind of preset of all the different ones that you've used before. Um, and that kind of helps make things a little bit easy so you can kind of connect the pipes to the level that you want. Um, you just got to make sure that you pick the right one. I picked it negative five and a half, negative eight foot five and a half, and that's why it was like in the middle of the room. And I just had to change that to negative eight foot 11 to make that go down a little bit more. So hopefully, um, hopefully all you need to do is go back and kind of just connect your first uh, floor pipes and your second floor pipes. And that's the only thing that you'll need to do for, um, to complete this. Uh, mod, this mod is live uh, at this time, so it's going to be mod 10, uh, plumbing, your final plumbing model, and then just upload the progress of all your, of your uh, plumbing model and, and submit that. Um, so that'll be done. Um, so plumbing will be finished and after that we will go ahead and start our final project on Wednesday. So um, that's it for class for today. I'll we'll go ahead and open the floor to any questions that you have or anything else that we can review, uh, anything that you're having some issues with. So any questions y'all? Oh yes, I have a few. Okay. Is there a specified water heater we need to use? All right, uh, good question. There is an issue with the water heater for um, MEP. So let me go ahead and jump to floor, floor plan here. This water heater right here is an architectural water heater. It is not the MEP water heater. So what we would do for that, uh, you can just go to um, architecture, you can go to components, load family. Remember all this is still gonna be located in plumbing. And here at this point, you have architectural, you have MEP. If we did have something that worked, the MEP, you might and go into equipment and go into water heaters. Water heater, two different uh, arch, MEP water heaters I have here are not working. Like if, uh, let me click on this one. And try and overwrite. Yeah, I tried using that one, it didn't connect either. Yeah, it's not going to connect. Oh, actually, it looks like it might now. It made a liar out of me. Okay, well, you can see if you use this water heater, um, you, they do have the connections that's working on it now. I don't know what was going on before. Um, so you can connect that. Um, but if you just wanna use the architectural water heater, the one that just says WH, you can use that as well. Um, the basics, you know, are the same. Um, all you have to do is connect the pipes to the correct locations uh, like we did with that one. But with this architectural water heater, since it's just uh, as a representation of the water heater, it's not gonna have those functional connection points. So you can just use this. Um, for those of you who are able to use that correct water heater, the MEP water heater, go ahead and use that one, um, but I'll leave that up to you. So either one is fine. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, can I say my screen? Yeah, hold on. Uh, uh -huh. We're getting ready to uh, run out of time. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Uh, if we run out of time, um, I'll just go ahead and uh, send you out a new um, a new invite. And those of you who want to join back in and have questions can can so. Okay, try. You should be able to share your screen now. Uh huh. You see it? I see it. Yeah. So how can I change the the view right here to right here? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. <laughs> okay. Um, on the top of your screen, you're kind of missing a lot of stuff. See where they have that little button there? That looks like um, a drop down arrow where it says modify, where it says the modify tab. Modify right, tab. Right there. Yeah. Go to yeah. the right. Just that to the right where that modify tab is, like where you were on the modify tab. 
Go to the mock oh, yeah. right there. Click on that for me, please. Just click on it. Cycle through. Ah, uh, I don't yeah, see keep it. Keep clicking on that. And again. All right, I guess you only have two, so that'll be there. Okay, so leave it at that point right there. And then also on that, um, the top options bar, you see how there's a symbol, you see where the section view symbol is? Section view, oh. 